Welcome to Small Talk Daily for Friday, June 12, 2009. This morning I'd like to take a look at one of the things that differentiates Object Studio and VisualWorks. In Object Studio 8, you have now the VisualWorks browser and the VisualWorks debugger, but you also have your own tools for other things, like the workspace here is the Object Studio workspace. And notice one thing, if I have a bunch of code in it, I don't need to highlight it. If I just do a Small Talk inspect, then it'll execute what's in that workspace. I don't have to have highlighted it first. And secondly, the inspector is not the trippy inspector from VisualWorks, it's this tree inspector, which is kind of a neat little thing. You notice the way things are laid out here. It's opened up to the three keys I have here. That's just a string. This, of course, is the dictionary that I put in there. Notice the dictionary contains another dictionary the way I set this up. So if I hit this tree object here, I can expand that out. Notice that I have this embedded dictionary with its own keys. And then I can expand further and find out that this is able to show hexadecimal, octal, and so on and so forth, the way Object Studio classically has. So with Trippy on the VisualWorks side, to get to this level, I have to either double click on entries or pop up a context menu and select Dive. Whereas in the Tree Inspector, I have this sort of natural view where I can do this. And if I go here, notice I can go back to my previous selection, go back again. It'll take me to where I've been. Also, come up here. If I hit this, I can open up inspectors on other things. So let's say I wanted to get an inspector on this number. So I hit this, open inspector for selected object. So I hit that, and it's going to open up a tree inspector on a small integer. So notice there's a couple of other things. Let's say that I've opened up a bunch of these inspectors, and they're kind of flooding my screen. I can say, well, close all the other inspectors and leave this one open. Here is an interesting one as well, open inspector for the selected objects class. So if I wanted to inspect the small integer class itself, as opposed to that instance, then I can get this inspector on that class object itself. So that gives me that. So kind of an interesting little tool that allows me to explore things. One of the nice things about this is if you're working with something like COM, you can drill all the way down with the tree inspector and find the methods that the COM interface supports. And that's one of the ways I discovered interfaces when I was doing COM screencasts a couple of months ago where I was exploring iTunes from both VisualWorks and Object Studio. On the VisualWorks side, I used the browser for COM methods that's been implemented on the Object Studio side, I use this inspector and drill down this way to find those COM APIs. Anyway, it's an interesting little tool that you might want to know something about. It's an interesting way to explore objects, and it's unique to Object Studio. So until next time, have fun with Smalltalk.